Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and consumers of all ages, to Ooh. Friday Night's Amateur Extreme Entertainment Podcast. Once again, you're joining us for What the Fu, on our quest to find out the best-ish fast food joint around. Are we going for best-ish or just flat-out best? I mean, is there, there a There could be a runner-up. Is there a best with when it's going to fast food? I mean, mm, there could be, possibly. It's, it's fast-ish, possibly. And I mean, like, we, I, I think best would be swaying people's opinions. If we could sway other people's opinions, then isn't that make it the best? I, th- I think so. Okay, cool. I mean, I don't know if this is going to be a yearly thing because they don't really change. Like, maybe we could do like the best secret menu items for some places or or we could just go out and try the new items when they come out that's yeah. what i was thinking yeah, yeah. i like i, I like, like that, that idea better because i mean there's some dope secret stuff that we could bring you guys that i've seen out there because you know we about the fat kid special in this yeah. <laughs> i didn't i didn't get this by dieting and eating salads that's mm-hmm. for fuck sure that's right <laughs> i'm trying to put that weight on mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, if you got some greasy stuff, Richard needs some. Uh, put it in the <laughs> comments, man. Right. Hell yeah. Look out for your skinny guy over here, man. I had to get my guy some frugals up in this base. I'm trying to enhance my food game. <laughs> we got to work on that. We got to figure out the logistics on the frugals versus. Yeah. Uh, was it? T- that might be. A, it might be a collaborative Tacoma? effort, since we both stay in the Tacoma Lakewood area. Yeah. We'll have to. You can probably go get the best burgers. I can go roll and get the fucking frugals. Because yep. that's on the way to get the pow out anyway. So. Hell yeah. Best burgers is a jam. <clears throat> I'm just missing out on the fact we couldn't do Dick's versus Wendy's. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't want it put out in the internet ether that I put dicks in my mouth and that's not cool. Because well, that's a problem. People, with people that, that don't branding. Live, people that don't live in the Northwest <laughs> don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's way too much to explain. And by the time you get through it, people have already made their assumptions. And I honestly think that it's overrated. Huh. I've yeah. I've never eaten there. I just eh. It's pretty I've, good when you're super smashed at like 3 a.m. I've never been yeah. so that's, drunk in that, Seattle kinda... as to eat dicks at 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, apparently you ain't been partying right in Seattle. Yeah, but, no, I, mean, I usually go home afterwards. Their burgers, Portland, their right. burgers are tiny, Fuck, man. I go on the hunt for some dicks. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> you heard it here. He goes on some hunts for some dicks at 3 oh, o'clock yeah. in the morning. Yeah. I once walked like five miles for to get some dick when I was uh, smashed at 3 a.m. Anytime after concerts, if you lose this motherfucker right here, just yeah. search for the nearest bag of dicks. And that's where you'll find him. Yep. And then they asked him for gas money. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Nah, also, I walked here. <laughs> <laughs> this didn't cost me nothing to eat these dicks. All right. <laughs> The rabbit hole is here. See, there you <laughs> go. We're going to have to change that whole consumers of all ages thing because this mm-hmm. is going to get us kicked off YouTube again. Well, uh, I mean, we don't want the kids on there anyway because we, we need to make it demographic. That way we don't get things like, if you didn't notice, last week's episode was age-restricted just because of our tagline. Yeah, well, I mean. Mm-hmm. Petite redhead versus five guys. Who, who would have known right. that surprise, that was going to get... Just for the sake, just for the sake of the tagline, can I say that you're a bad parent if you feed your kid dicks, like a whole bag of them, <laughs> like a whole bag of them? Yeah. Now the tagline can be "Dicks are bad for kids," <laughs> but YouTube <laughs> <laughs> don't feed dicks to your children. <laughs> YouTube restricted us by age, but Facebook, which is, you know, they're fact checkers. Yep. Yeah, that should have not met community standards. Yeah, uh, okay. Which I don't know whose community this is. I mean, like as far as I'm concerned, my friends are my community. So if they're okay with it, fuck off, you. Yeah. By I mean, the time this airs, I will be uh, 21 days away from getting out of Facebook jail. So fuck you, Zuckerberg. Oh well, yeah. See, I didn't get a full jail time. I just got restricted. For that? For 30 days? No, for okay. something I posted a year ago that I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know I was, I was 15 days in, and I was like, hey, I can't go live? What's going on here? You've been <laughs> restricted. You have two counts of restriction from the same post. Yeah. Huh. I thought going live was the was the loophole around the ban. 
I try to go live. They're like, ah, you thought, motherfucker. Get back in the cell. Nine. Nine. Get back yeah, in the right. cell. <laughs> Do you want not be in the yard Close today? Close your blinds. God damn right. it. Time to dig in? So, yes, yeah. today we have the last competitor in the chicken uh, sandwich. And it comes to us from Dairy Queen. I was going to say, I don't recognize this wrapper. Mm-hmm. No uh, no foil, no no gimmick. No, no gimmick uh, foil bag here, I see. But they did make these fresh. They were like, hey, it's going to be a few minute wait. And I'm like, all right, cool. I did. They I do good. notice the, uh, the tomato and lettuce. I don't know about that. Chicken sandwiches should just have pickle and mayonnaise on them. No. It's got mayo up in there. Yeah, no pickle. That's kind of No pickle. That's kind of weak. This is uh, this is on the Arby's tip. Mm. I don't agree. Yeah. Well, this oh, is, oh, this yeah, is my you, childhood chicken oh, sandwich. Yeah, you, you I don't, like you tomatoes. You don't, you don't like pickles on your sandwiches, huh? No, yeah, I'm not a pickle guy at all. My lady be asking for pickles on her sandwiches, and I'm like, that's the last thing I'm doing. I'm like, so my sandwich don't have any pickle juice on it. Don't. <laughs> so it's just a CLT. Chicken, lettuce, tomato. <laughs> a CLT. I like that. I'll fuck it's with a good. CLT. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I mean, it ain't bad for... Yeah. Well, depending on how this scores, and if we decide to do a second round of this, we'll have to remember to put Dairy Queen up against the Arby's sandwich. Although, if I remember correctly, I don't think Arby's is making it to the second round. We'll see. If see. there is a second round. It's definitely a good chicken sandwich. Yeah, it's not yeah, bad. I'm, like, I'm definitely going to eat this whole fucking sandwich, that is for sure. It's kind of tasting like a better McChicken. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. It's got very minimal seasoning on it. It's got very minimal mayonnaise on it, too. Yeah, that's a fact right there. It's a bit on the dry side, Dairy Queen. I'd rather be a bit on the dry side than just dripping fucking mayonnaise all over my face, so I just can't stand it. Oh, that. you mean like the RB sandwich? Yeah, the McCum shot all over your face? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, no. The McCum shot belongs to fucking Ronald McDonald over there. <laughs> that's how we get left. Fucking RB, Arby's had the straight up fucking Bukaki Supreme. <laughs> That shit was all over the place. That's why they say we have the meat. But yeah, you, like, straight up, you pulled it out of the paper. You had to scoop it up with your finger and then lick it off like a whore. I don't know who in the hell thinks that's a good idea. Like, when you go into Subway and they're making your sandwich, you're like, what oh, kind I thought, of I thought, you, were, I thought you were about to talk about porn. I was like, <laughs> well, like hold on, hold on, hate <laughs> restriction. No, so you're like, oh, yeah, let me get some mayonnaise and some mustard on there. They'll take this bitch and literally be like, squawk, mayonnaise, squawk, mustard. Is that enough? No, that's fucking way too much. <laughs> like, who who put the river of condiments on their sandwich? Whoever does that? Are you making a sandwich at home doing that shit? Like, why would you make your sandwiches they like that? They probably do. I, I fucking guarantee you they don't. It's just like man. something. It's in the asshole fucking handbook that they have there. Make sure you drown these motherfucker sandwiches. They've never mustard. made a sandwich until they got to Subway. <laughs> right. So, just like, isn't this how everybody does it? <laughs> it drives me nuts, dude. Every time I watch it, I'm like, oh my god, can you remake my sandwich now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. If you uh, if you if you happen to meet a uh, a young lady that you're interested in, and she works at Subway. She's not wife material. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> if she works at Subway, she don't know how to make a sandwich. It's gonna be sloppy wet. This is a side piece. At best. At best. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't even know if you, you can gotta get that claim Subway that. when she gets off work, bro. Right. <laughs> same. So if you were <laughs> able to you check, check out, she works at Quiznos. <laughs> you gotta eat. Because at least she knows how to work the oven. <laughs> <laughs> toasted. You need those toasted subs. If you caught this or last a girl week. that works at Jimmy John's and she don't care if you come fast. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to get back fast. to work anyway. <laughs> yeah, freaky fast. <laughs> Five minutes or less, I'm busy. <laughs> Your co-worker's coming next, so right. get out. It's a freaky fast, freaky good. And they probably are freaky. We also got some cheese curds from Dairy Queen. Which are the motherfucking hit. Cheese curds from anywhere are good. I fucking love cheese curds. My very first job was at fucking Dairy Queen at 15 years old. I didn't have nothing called no damn cheese curds. Because I'd have been I'd have been remembered that shit. I'd have ate a million of them by now. That's, I didn't even know that they had them on the menu until today. Hmm. Dairy Queen's weird, bro. They try to do a little bit of everything. Yeah, man. They see they're like the, doing it. They're like, they're they're like the backyard barbecue jack-in-the-box. And then they get surprised when you come up and they order actual food instead of ice cream. They'll be like, wait, what? What? Did, what? You you wanted right. four chicken sandwiches? Whoa, hold on, hold this on. This guy wants real food, guys. Yo, who the fuck ordered the hot dogs? 
<laughs> cheese curds too. Oh my god, man! Like, right? Fuck, we gotta use the fryer. Grill guy's freaking out because he actually has something to do. <laughs> so last week we had the burger challenge. Mm. Yeah, Wendy's versus Five Guys. You know the catchphrase that got us age restricted. Um, it wasn't as big of a landslide as I was expecting it to be. And one of us here actually gave the dub to Wendy's. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Only because of... It, it basically just came down to the value. Yep. The value... Like, I think all of us gave them high score on their value, so that, like, really balanced it out because you took it away because Five Guys is like, no, you're... Oh, it too now you're, on the value. You're paying for this shit. Even. It was like... Like I, like I was telling somebody else, it's a big burger, and then, like, it equals a couple of those sandwiches if you bought them. Well, I, see. I think if we go back and review the tape... I'm not sure if this we, if we got this on camera or on audio, but it was either last week or the week before when we discussed this. I called it. I said, this is going to be a fucking landslide and everything else except for value. Yep. The price of Five Guys alone is going to make this a lot closer than it should be. Oh, yeah. Then I said, that shit was crippling. If that doesn't work, this motherfucker right here is going to completely fuck up the score <laughs> one way or the other and make this a lot closer than it has to be. Now, fast forward to 10 fucking seconds ago when we just had the confirmation, wow, this wasn't Secrets as much of a landslide as we thought it was going to be. Because was, of this fucking guy right here. I was expecting a double digit, you know, but nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. You got to watch them prices, man. You can't be charging $60 for five fucking cheeseburgers. This ain't goddamn Red Robin. When you can get Yum. four burgers, from five, almost five burgers from Wendy's for the price of... You can go to fucking... One you can go to guys. Wendy's and get four fucking double bacon burgers, four orders of fries, four orders of nuggets, and four drinks for 20 fucking dollars. Yep, yep. You can't fuck with the value of Wendy's, man. They know what the fuck they're doing on that. They're like, hey, look, man. Food's all right. Price is where it's at. Yep. Uh, I still think White Castle has everybody beat with the value. Yep. yep. Because um, I don't give a fuck what else other drinks and sides and fries and onion oh, rings yeah. you got. Anytime somebody says, yo, my burgers. guy, I got a hundred <laughs> cheeseburgers in a briefcase for you. <laughs> Name your price, bro. I give yeah, a right. fuck less. Bring that shit on. Twenty nine ninety five. Guess whose cable bill is not getting paid this month. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a hundred fucking cheeseburgers in a crave case. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna carry that bitch to work. For twenty nine ninety five. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and you just gonna be throwing them out like dollar bills. Exactly. You want a cheeseburger? Who wants a cheeseburger? You, can go to you get a cheeseburger. Yeah, no, right. when I when I when I get signed to the WWE, that's gonna be my gimmick. I'm gonna be the fat Kofi Kingston. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna be throwing fucking <laughs> white castle sliders at people. It's gonna be messy as fuck. I'm gonna be hitting little kids in the head. You're gonna see little oh, eight bits of pizza onion flying all it's over. It's gonna the place. hit those TV screens of the fans. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then they gotta come up with some way to like. Do you think they will actually see it coming at them through their uh, webcam? Maybe. That would be really cool. Get the crowd crowd reaction. Yo, ICP. When it's time to tour again, fuck the Fago. Start throwing White Castle burgers at people. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, just, both. I just saw that the, uh, the Gathering of the Juggalos. Yep, just went up today. Yeah. Yeah. Getting with, ready to put uh, out soon. with what? Two months worth of notice? What kind of bullshit is that? And I think it's only it's only a couple days, two days. I thought, yeah, I thought it's about it. Three, three fucking days. And but any, I already put my money in on something else. Yeah, yeah, we know. I was gonna I was gonna ask you about it. I was like, yo, uh gathering uh Pala? Nope, nope, nope. Richard's already fucking made his plans for the summer. So but yeah, it's only going to be uh, three days, as opposed to the normal five, which kind of sucks. Which because it, it already it automatically gives it away that there's not going to be as much shit to enjoy at this year's gathering. It is at the original place, though. Yeah. Something else to be. Known, yeah, that, that, cool. that's cool. But at the same time, you're taking away two days worth of content. And I've been to the gathering, and that's a whole lot of content. So we ain't gonna have all these concerts that we we're hoping to see. Well, that's what I'm wondering too: is what the ticket price is going to be. Yeah, that too. You know, because if you're short by two outrageous. days, I, I ain't paying the same price. Probably going to be You damn right. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> I, mean, we, I better be paying rough, half right. price for half the time and half the fucking. And I mean, who, who do they have still like signed to JCW? Do they have any fucking buddy? Uh, I don't know. Uh, with the all, after everything happened with yeah. COVID, bro, I know they were they were rocking pretty hard before COVID hit. 
but I don't think they're doing anything. They were still doing you know, a, a touring show. Yeah, I've been to the gathering. I've seen JCW there, and it is probably the most official, literal definition of an outlaw mud show. <laughs> And uh, I know a certain somebody in Florida who has an abundance of outlaw mud show, t- uh, outlaw mud show talent. They'll probably be more than happy to work the gathering and get a quick yeah, little Yeah, because he, he hasn't worn that uh, JWO outfit in a few years. Yeah, so get Tony Khan on the phone. Fill out your fucking roster. You know who we're talking about. Just dust that shit off. It's black. Just dust it off. Get your ass up there. Do it. Fuck yeah. I bet there'll probably be a lot of independent contracted people coming in like that. They usually do a lot of Look that Zach shit. Look at Zach Gowan with his one leg. Or whatever. Like, I've seen people there that, you know, normally don't wrestle on any of the JCW been, shit. Somebody needs to bring it out to him that he never got elimin- eliminated from the Royal Rumble. Right. He's been robbed. <clears throat> robbed. Not only of a leg, but a chance at a title. But <laughs> So, like I said, this is the last participant in this tournament. So, next week... We won't have any food, but we are going to go over and break it down to who actually is going to go on to the next round. There we go. Only six are going, and then we're going to weed them out real quick for y'all. Yep. Fuck yeah. I can't wait. Fuck yeah. It's going to be like, bam. Sounds like a fucking plan, bro. We're bringing this for you guys. For oh, you yeah. guys. Mm-hmm. And for no spoilers us. either. So for us, too. No secrets I mean, in the comments from me blabbing out who won right. and all. Subscribe. Help me get fat. Yes, subscribe. Yeah, Comments on greasy spoons down below. Like, tell us some places oh, yeah. to go. We'll we'll go f- try some food. We'll see if you guys are right. Mm-hmm. Just don't take our opinion. What's and your Glee opinion? is on Portland Ave in Tacoma. Hell yeah. Shout out to our unofficial official Fago. Mm-mm. Deliciousness I to wash down this greasiness. Uh, Hippie House in Tacoma, the premier glass emporium of the Northwest, located at 3109 6th Avenue, Tacoma. Harris Sign Co., if you missed out on those banners, I'm sorry, man, but you can still hit him up. Hell yeah. He's got all kinds of other stuff. He can do so much shit, man. Just throw it at him. He can can even do shirts now. He's He's got all kinds of angles coming at you. You need it, he's got it. Comics the Gathering, come for the comics, stay for the games. They got all kinds of stuff for you, too. Just like we got all kinds of stuff for you all throughout the week. We got something different for y'all. Yep, that's right. Hell yes. And Damn right. We thank you, the consumers, <coughs> for stopping by. That was nice. Till next time.